We will now formalize our understanding of the SharePoint objects and their hierarchy. At the highest level we have the SharePoint farm and in the object model it's called an SP farm object. Now a farm consists typically of one or more web applications and in the object hierarchy again they are called SP web applications and they really relate to IIS websites. Now within a web application we can have one or more site collections and these are the boundaries that really define security so we will have users and groups set up at site collections and we refer to them as SP site objects in code. And as their name implies, an SP site object can contain one or more sites. So these really are the sites that we as an end user experience. But in the object model, they are called SP web objects. And SP webs are really the containers for additional list, so additional site data such as lists and pages and so forth. So we have, of course, SP list, and we've used that in a few demos before. And we have SP list items for each item in the list. We have SP file objects to refer to documents in document libraries. So working with the object hierarchy is relatively straightforward. We have a very simple snippet of code on the slide there that iterates through all of the services in the farm and then through all of the sites, i.e. SP site objects in the um, SP web applications for that each service and then through all of the, the SP web objects, i.e. a SharePoint site in the site collection. So this other snippet of code actually shows you how to create a new web but the, the critical thing is we navigate to it first so we can um, specify where the web gets created so we get a reference to spcontext.current.site and then we can add a web to its root web so all in all it's a relatively simple and straightforward object model and we'll delve into much more details of specific objects in the object model as we go through the remainder of this course